All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Vessel Mover, which is being made by forum user Bahamuto D. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a quick and easy method to allow you to pick up and move your ships wherever you need them to be in the world. And, well, that's wonderful. So, let's just jump right over to the runway and take a look at how it works. Now, some of you may already be asking, well, I mean, we can already move our ships pretty easily using mods like HyperEdit. In fact, I use HyperEdit constantly, quite possibly. Almost every one of my mod videos has HyperEdit used at least once to help me set up the video. And it has this wonderful tool called Ship Lander, which does let you move your ship wherever you need it to be in the world. But the problem is, you have to know where that location is via the lat long coordinates. And that can mean either a whole heck of a lot of fiddling around getting just the right numbers, or saving a whole crap load of waypoints around the world, whichever you choose to do. And well, that is a possibility, but Bahamuto D saw a better way to do it, and that is using Vessel Mover. So rather than having to type in the lat longs, all we need to do is when your ship is landed, I must stress that right off the bat there, your ship must be on the ground, and when it is, you simply hold down Alt and P, and there we go, our aircraft has been lifted on high into the air, and yeah, now we can move it to wherever we'd like, and it's pretty simple to actually do so, all you need to do is use the W, A, S, and D keys to move yourself forward and back, left and right, etc. You can also roll the aircraft using Q and E, so if you do have, say, perhaps an incline that you're trying to set the ship down on, you can, uh, you know, set it nicely on whatever angle that might perhaps be. And you can also use the I, J, K, and L keys to tilt the aircraft forward and backwards, as well as spin it on its axes there. All of which allowing you to get the ship to the exact place and rotation, etc., that you'd like the craft to be for it to then land, which is quite simple once you do actually get it into position to land, you just have to hit Alt P once again, and your ship gently falls back to terra firma. And it's as simple as that, and it's pretty darn wonderful and a heck of a lot easier than typing in lat long coordinates. Now, a couple of quick limitations on it. It is, of course, purely for moving your aircraft or rocket or whatever you so desire within a single, singular planetary body. So unlike HyperEdit, we cannot use this to get our ships into orbit, and we cannot use it to send our ships to other planets. But once you are on another planet, you can move this around to wherever you need it to be, and set it down where you'd like to set up for, say, if you're a machinima maker, set it up for the perfect shot, or if you're trying to build a complicated base, you can use this to actually set up your base and help you build much more accurately. Now, on that sort of note of accuracy, there are different speeds of how to move your ship. Now, we can normally, by default, when you hit Alt-P, move around like so. Pretty fast movement overall, but say if you want to get to the other side of the planet, it's going to take a while. So, you can change these speeds by pressing the tab key to toggle through them. So this, when we have the green highlighted circle, that is the normal speed. If we hit tab, we toggle down to slow speed. And this is what you could use for say if you are building a base on a planet. This is a much more slow and accurate movement so you can get your uh, various colony modules just into the right spot. And then there is also, if we tab once more, the ludicrous speed, and you'll notice we raise way up in altitude, and of course the color of our ring did change again here, and now on ludicrous speed, oh, we can go real fast. 
<laughs> which of course does lag the crap out of the game. Within seconds there, we have moved just dozens of kilometers away from the Kerbal Space Center. But what's really cool about this vessel mover, especially when you are in this ludicrous speed mode, you can do it in the map. So if we zoom into our location and use the WASD keys to move around, we are moving around. <laughs> and we can go and say perhaps move our plane over there or just kind of get it into the right spot for the runway over here, etc., or bring it right on back to the Kerbal Space Center here. And then whenever you're in roughly the right area, you can pop right back out of the map and then hit tab again to bring us down to normal speed and fine tune that location. And it's quite lovely. Now you may wonder, why is it changing our height? as we are changing between speeds. When we were on slow mode, it lowered us down. Ludicrous mode, we're way up in the atmosphere. And normal mode, we're kind of, uh, well, not quite in between, because Ludicrous does put you really high up. And that, that is to deal with terrain. Now, this is when I talk about why we have this giant ring around us. That ring is basically buffering us between where our ship is and the height of the terrain. Because when we are moving around, we can be going pretty quickly, and your ship can run into stuff, and it will blow up if you run into anything while you're flying around in this mode. So this circle tries to keep us at a sort of safe height. So say, for instance, if we go over this building here, once we hit the building with our circle, you see we kind of go up a bit and we start to go up more and more as whatever changes in height occur when they hit that circle. So if we back away, you'll notice we lower back down. We're at about 101 meters. We go on this building and there we go. We're at 117, 18, etc. And so that's how the mod tries to make it so you don't explode. Now, as for why it does change altitude at the different speeds, it's because it can only seem to calculate that terrain change so quickly. So at the slow speed, it's pretty safe to have us low to the ground because we're going so slow, it'll pick up the change in height between you and the ground pretty darn quickly and pretty darn easily. And the higher up you go, the more drastic the speed change could be at the speed that you're going. So when we're at ludicrous speed, we're basically up at a point in the altitude where nothing could run into us, but it does become a problem when you're on normal. I was playing around with this earlier and a uh, issue I had was when going really quickly over the terrain on normal mode, it sometimes couldn't keep up with the terrain changes. And all of a sudden I would find my airplane smashed into the side of a hill. So if you are going over rough terrain at a quick pace, you really should be up here in ludicrous mode. And you should only go down to uh, normal mode when you've gotten closer to your intended target. So then, then slowly move into position and then finalize it with the slow mode. But overall, this system tends to work pretty darn well at calculating, oh my, we should go up higher. Like for instance, if we wanted to be on top of the VAB, there we go, once the ring hit the VAB, we're up top now. And if we so desired, now that we are on top, we could, if we wanted, plop down our aircraft here and uh, yeah, Alt P, boom. We're now in the helipad. <laughs> and it's just glorious. I I really love this thing. It is absolutely great. Hyperedit still, once again, will get you to different planets and into orbits. But once you're on a planet, this Alt-P being as simple as that to move around the world and get your plane into just the right position that you want it for whatever purpose you do need is just great. And the fact that you can rotate the ship, tilt them up and down, etc., just adds to the functionality and usability of it. And I'm pretty impressed by the actual landing feature. You can actually be all the way up in the ludicrous altitude, hit Alt-P, and you'll have just as feather soft of a landing as if you did it from normal or slow speed mode. 
it's quite convenient and pretty darn handy. So yeah, if you would like to download this mod for yourself to help you move around the world and place your ship where you need, uh, you can check out the link in the description as always. And I really do hope you check it out. This is a pretty awesome mod. Bahamuto D certainly never disappoints with his various mods that he creates. And this one adds a pretty cool feature. As, as I said, Hyper Edit can do a lot, but man, once you're trying to move your ship around, oh boy, Hyper Edit cannot beat a vessel mover in that department. It is pretty wonderful. So yes, I hope you do check out the mod in question, and of course, I hope you all have enjoyed this video today, and that you do come back for the next one. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always... Have a good one.